Number 21. At the end of example 25.4, we stated that the critical angle for light going from diamond to air is 24.4. Verify this. All right. So uh, take a look at number 20, the problem number 20. All right. I went through uh, how to derive this formula I'm going to use here. So if you want to know where this comes from or how it arises, please check that problem out. So theta critical, theta sub c, will equal the inverse sine of n2 over n1. In other words, the n2 is basically the refracted ray and n1 is the incident. So you can say the index of refraction for the refracted ray and then this is the uh, index of refraction for the incident ray. And we also said that n2 or the angle or the excuse me the index of refraction should be less than the index of refraction for the incident ray. Okay, let me say that again. The index of refraction for the refracted ray must be less than the angle, uh, the index of refraction for the incident ray. A lot of, lot of, lot of letters there in words. Um, in any case, so it says light is going from diamond to air. So this is the incident material and this is the refracted material. Okay. So basically, then theta, the critical angle is then equal to the inverse sine of the air is the refracted part. Just assume it's one. It's very close. And then diamond. We have to know the value of diamond. So you go to your table and you just look it up. Go to solids. Here's diamond 2.419. So you plug it in 2.419. All right. If you want to know also why this relationship is true, check out number 20. So this is the inverse sine of then 1 divided by 2.419. 24.4. Oh my gosh, by golly. Look at that. That's exactly what they said. Huh. Cool. And now this is letter B. What is the critical angle for light going from zircon to air? So again, we can use the same formula, right? And this time, though, we know from zircon to air. So air is going to be the refracted part. So we use the index of refraction for that on the top. And then we go to zircon. So the value is about 1.923. All right. And then all we got to do is just plug that on into the calculator. So inverse sine of 1 divided by 1.923. And we get a value about 31.3 degrees. And that's the critical angle. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing, liking, maybe even telling your classmates. All right. I look forward to helping you with more problems. I'll see you soon. Take it easy.